sponsored in part by ERA King Real Estate. Schlitt is a classic example of a small town guy getting caught up in a fast lifestyle. In college, John linked up with the rock band Head East as the lead singer. After just one radio hit, record labels came knocking on their door. But John's good guy image didn't quite fit the rocker mentality that Head East needed. So his band manager advised him to party more like a lead singer. John was introduced to cocaine and in just three months, he was hooked. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. My whole day depended on how much coke I had in my, in my little bottle. So you couldn't even function in the world that you were living in without it? I drink beer to get, get go down. I do coke to get up. And it was just, it was a lousy way to live. And I wasn't living, I was killing myself. It, well, it was so bad, in fact, that they asked you to leave. The band was always number one number one uh, uh, next to my life my family everything my health and all of a sudden the band's not there anymore and i'm like a fish out of water i don't know what to do john spent the next six months singing binge drinking and snorting cocaine what was this doing to your wife right in the beginning of the same six months that i'm heading down she gets saved and it becomes a on fire heavy duty christian it was by the grace of God that we stayed together because um, there was just, um, when all this took place, um, he was not a, a fun person to be around. He was not, you know, um, he was miserable. Our church was praying for him. I was praying for him. There was a war going on for him. I knew it. The bills were piling up and John's addictions weren't backing down. One night, he passed out on the couch. And I woke up the next morning, and my one-year-old son was looking at me real strange. Like, why are you here, Dad? I mean, why are you on the couch? It, it was a sweet little innocent thing, but I realized that the animal that was on stage had finally made it home. Then a little voice goes, you know, John, you're worth more dead than alive. And I thought about it. I said, yeah, I sure am. That's a great idea. While the children played on the carpet in the living room, John plotted his own death. I had decided in one quick, one quick instant that this was the best thing for my family. I finally thought of something that I could do for my family. That also happened to be the same day John promised to meet Dorla's pastor. I went because I wanted her to remember that I tried. So... When I, finished my, when I finished myself off, she would say, well, he, he did go talk to the pastor. The pastor challenged John's view of God. You don't know the Jesus that loves you. You don't know the Jesus that has a plan for your life. You don't know the Jesus that knows exactly what you're thinking right now. The power of God's presence knocked him to the floor, and John gave his life to Christ. The minute I finished it, it was like a ton of lead lifted right off of my shoulders, my head and my shoulders. I mean, I, I didn't realize I weighed that much. He was instantly delivered from cocaine and soon lost his desire for alcohol. I had a hold of my daughter's hand, and I looked at her, and I think the first thing God ever said to me was, John, you know those treasures you were looking for? All that money you wanted to make, all that, those riches? Here they are right here, and I've been taking care of them. Now you start. John put music aside. In time, he landed a job as a mining engineer. Life began to look pretty good. Well, you've got a beautiful home. You have a great church, great job. 
your kids are going to uh, Christian school. Um, this must be the American dream. And all of a sudden, I was, no, don't be content with this. This is not it. This is not it. I got a phone call from Bob Hartman, which was totally out of the blue. Bob wanted him to front as the lead singer for Petra. The only way to ever sing rock and roll is if it was in a Christian band like Petra. You're going out because you have, you have a, a, a reason to do it. You want to see lives change. In his 20 years with Petra, the band brought home four Grammys and 10 Dove Awards. Then in 2005, Petra said its farewells. John's brand of retirement includes working on a solo album and perfecting his woodworking skills. Looking back over everything, everything. which is really hard. <laughs> That's a lot of years, what, buddy. What, what does your story say about the true character of God? He never gave up on me when he should have. I know that I'm going to see, see God, but not because of what I did. I sin every day. But the blood of God, God's blood, was shed for me. That's good enough to get me there. First I want to thank you, Lord, for being who you are, for coming to the rescue of a man who's drifted far. For calling me to be your son And calling me to serve Lord, the way you bless my life Is more than I deserve
One of my favorite uh, Christian rock bands has been Petra. And uh, they have won Grammys and Doves and have uh, entertained and inspired audiences all over the world for over 20 years. Their front man, John Schlitt, is a Grammy and Dove award-winning uh, artist. And he's got a new single out from uh, an album called The Greater Cause. The new single is called Faith and Freedom. And John joins me now. John, great to have you here today. Hello, Governor. It's great to be here. You know, I enjoy getting a chance to visit with you uh, when we were both in Tampa and we were at a Faith and Freedom rally. Um, you take this very seriously about your faith, but also what it means to be free. Tell me why. Absolutely, Governor. I think uh, we in this country are so blessed, and I'm afraid for, you know, just lately especially, we've been taking it for granted. Last year, I challenged our relocation team to be even better. Their response was, it will cost you your 42-year-old mustache. Today, we're the only platinum-recognized Cardish USA broker in the state of Alabama. I sure miss that mustache. We are proud to introduce to you Radioactive, located in Pelham since 1985. Radioactive strives to build their reputation on honesty and integrity by offering high-quality products and knowledgeable service. They offer a comprehensive range of products and professional installation for your home theater and automotive needs. Radioactive stands behind their work and has the reputation to back it up. Give them a call for all of your home theater, vinyl wrap, and car stereo needs. Call 205-663-1859. What sets ERA King apart? Lead management technology and search engine optimization, virtual tours, curbside audio, enhanced listings with Trulia, Homes.com, and Realtor.com on every single listing. Yes, and rule number one, just do the right thing. That's 
the price I step inside the inner veil To make the people free Devil stood the same for years Till the Nazarene appears Things will never be the same Since 33 AD When he spoke and bowed his head bounce houses, slides and vending, lighting and draperies. Don't forget about their fantastic line of formal wear. That's Top Notch Events and Rentals located in Anniston, Alabama, 239-4950. What sets ERA King apart? Lead management technology and search engine optimization, virtual tours, curbside audio, enhanced listings with Trulia, Homes.com, and Realtor.com on every single listing. Yes, and rule number one, just do the right thing. I saw Dad last night. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. Ever since his surgery, he can't get around like he used to. My friend Ellen called Home Helpers to care for her parents. 
They love their caregiver. She helps them live independently at home. For over a decade, Home Helpers has been making life easier for those in need. Visit Home Helpers for more information and to receive your free care packet. Have you ever thought about having a lifelong career instead of a job? Working for yourself instead of someone else? If this sounds good to you, check us out at eraking.com. Then give us a call. State-of-the-art tools and support. We teach real estate the right way. So we're down, we're, we're in our conference room right around the corner from our radio studio down the hallway here and we've decided since we're getting ready for tax week, we'd get our band together. We've got a lot of guys here that are really talented. I mean, Grammy award winners, Grammy nominated. We've got a whole slew of talented guys, so, and I've been playing drums for about 40 years or so, so we were very fortunate that since it is tax week, we're going to do tax man and we are joined by John Schlitt, lead singer of Petra and another one of my favorite bands. Head East in the 1970s. Let's go play. been exposed to the reality of it and uh, especially with this election it's brought uh, it's brought what we really believe out front and and who believes this who believes that and i realize that i absolutely believe in the constitution i believe in uh, the fact that this is a, a christian country and i believe that uh, they go hand in hand because of the values that we hold dear. We believe faith and freedom must be our guiding stars for they show us truth, they make us brave, give us hope, and leave us wiser than we were. My grandfather came through Ellis Island, left Soviet Russia because of religious persecution. He was a fruit peddler in Brooklyn, New York, and his grandson gets to argue cases at the Supreme Court of the United States. The same revolutionary belief for which our forebears fought are still at issue around the globe. The belief that the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. I do not fear what is ahead, for our problems are large, but our heart is larger. Our challenges are great, but our will is greater. 
And if our flaws are endless, God's love is truly boundless. Freedom and fear, justice and cruelty have always been at war. And we know that God is not neutral between them. We gotta ride.